Hey guys, DSR here, and today I am in my garage trying to show you guys, since the uh, my pictures don't seem to want to embed from Flickr, uh, this is one of my contest entries, the Keratin uh, Gundam. I am doing it in a custom color scheme uh, using primer paints. Uh, specifically, I am using the Rust-Oleum Automobile Primer and uh, Ace Hardware Premium Gray, which you can see is a darker color than the, the Rust-Oleum. Let me see if I can get both of them here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and I'm going to finish painting these. You can kind of see there's a few white spots where I've sanded down with this uh, 1200 grit sandpaper here. I'm trying to get a smoother finish on it. I work kind of through. I didn't have very much of the automobile primer left. I need to go buy some more. I am totally, it's t completely empty. As you can, yeah. So I need more of that. And there's something weird going on where it's kind of chalky, and I guess that's normally how primer is. But like you could barely scrape it with your fingernail or anything harder than skin, and it would leave like these shiny marks on it. So it definitely has to be flat coated. And I'm going to try and sand it down a little bit uh, once I do like a second or third coat. You can kind of see on the arms there how it's a little light because I didn't get totally covered. Got kind of splattered. And uh, a couple of spots here. The paint really splattered. I think it's one of these shoulders. Can't really see right now though. But um, this is the color scheme I'm going to keep. Uh, I'll explain a backstory for it later on. Uh, it's basically like an unfinished prototype, is what I'm going for. Uh, this red, I think I'm going to change to a silver, or to a, the lighter gray, I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to go for like an all gray color scheme, kind of. And my idea behind it is, I'm going for the Keratum Saga, but, uh, like a Saga Kai or something, because it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, instead of the, the carbine rifle, uh, instead, of, instead of the Saga has a carbine rifle, if you guys don't, have never seen it, uh, instead of its normal sniper rifle, and then it has two submachine guns, two GN pistol twos, and two GN pistol ones. So it has seven guns, uh, much like the seven swords. And this is what I've done for the. Oops, I just broke the barrel off of that one. Um, I just gl uh, barely glued it on on there, but. Uh, this one's a lot sturdier. Uh, that's just temporary. That's going to be have a better fix on it than that. But it has these submachine guns. It's basically the shorter version of the GN Sniper Rifle 2 uh, with the barrel just attached to the end there. So it's just the submachine gun part. It's not the whole sniper rifle. Uh, and then I have the pistol somewhere. And I'm modifying the barrel on the original GM, GM Sniper 2. I'm going to putty in the slit where the barrel is supposed to go and this is flipped upside down actually and sanded down a little bit. Uh, it's really hard to focus on this. And you can kind of see where these darker marks are. That's been totally cut through on both sides and filed down a little bit. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. Do I have... Okay, I don't have the pistols out here with me, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, so this is going to have a magazine that I removed from the old ground-type Gundam. It's in two halves right now because it's, it was attached to the two halves of the rifle, but I cut just this part out. And it's going to have this magazine here attached to the bottom where I've cut an area out for it. These The two halves of the magazines are going to be glued and then puttied together and filled out and everything. And then I'm going to fill in the insides of these caps. And these caps are going to go on the side. What I'm going for here is a, a, a Goss rifle. A, a, a GN Goss rifle, and I'll figure out a way how it works later on. Uh, basically, that's what the look I'm going for is. This will all be painted, obviously. I'm not going to keep the blue. Uh, I use these same pieces on my O Gundam Custom for its spare particle tanks on its waist and those I have four of them and these other two are going on both sides of the 
the rifle. So hopefully that'll look good. Um, I'm already I already started modifying the waist skirts. I think I have one over here. Uh, it needs to be puttied around where I had plot plate that I just kind of glued on. That's really messy and ugly. But uh, basically, I just cut out a piece of plot plate, plate uh, and attached. I'll cut off the peg for one of these Gen Pistol One containers from my Astrea Gundam, actually, and uh, s slapped it on here, glued it all in to there. And now th this is just the top half of it, the or the bottom half. The top half attaches to it. Uh, kind of, yeah, you get you guys have seen it, I'm sure. Uh, let's see if I can get it on there. Yes, just like that. Uh, I don't know what color scheme I'm going to do for this. I just primed it earlier on. Uh, I'll figure that out later. And the shield for the saga, which uh, is kind of curved more than this, but this is I, this is a modified. Uh, of the version of the, I'm not sure what they were. They're kind of like the funnels, but I, I don't remember what they were called. They're bigger Gen bits that came with the the Caradim, uh heavier or Gen Gen heavy weapons set with the rifle bits. Yeah, that's what they are. They're rifle bits. And I cut half of the ends off where there was already a line there, and it kind of gave me the shape of the shield from the Saga. And it's going to, uh, the puttying didn't really work the first time it broke. It needs to be glued on the inside here. That's going to be puttied all on the top, and that'll be painted. And this will go right on the shoulder of the keratin with the original peg for it that attaches into the clip. Uh, this, the Goss rifle will still have the original fold-out clip here, which will attach to the keratin. And this, I would say the painting is about 30% done, and I still got to sand it out, and then do a flat coat on it. And I'm not going to gloss it, I'm just going to do a flat, flat coat. Uh, so it keeps its primered look. Um, so yeah. So, this is kind of the color scheme I'm going for. I, I was iffy on whether or not the grays were a different enough gray. I mean, what, looking at the caps and stuff, I was I was really iffy on whether or not they were going to be a big enough difference where it would look like the grays were supposed to be white and the darkers were supposed to be a darker color. Um, but I, th I think I like the way it came out. Um, you can kind of see, I haven't painted the waist, I haven't painted the inside joints, I haven't painted this, the red piece. Uh, I didn't paint the inside, the middle of it, the whole core of the Gundam. I did, however, paint the piece that attaches the two backpack thrusters. I painted the, thr uh, the thrusters, and I painted the fold-out pieces. Uh, the dar the darker gray on the inside, because I, I like that it has a little bit of contrast. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the clearer pieces yet. Uh, I might just do them the standard green. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the tail piece here. Uh, the Saga has like a missile pack that goes all the way around it, but besides scratch building it, I'm not sure how I'm gonna have to how I'm gonna pull that one off. Uh, something I forgot to mention about these, the submachine guns, is that they're supposed to on the Saga uh, peg into the kneecaps, and as you can see on just the regular old uh, machine gun, it fits in there just fine. The little slit that it it has for the rifle, but it obviously doesn't stay because it's not the right shape. So what I'm doing here to hopefully uh, counteract that is I'm taking the pegs from the inside of a GN bit, which are supposed to peg in there, and this is obviously not the completed version of it. This has just been slapped on with some hot glue. Uh, I might glue it on there or something and then cut around it. On the GN bit, I have, you know, the extra ones because I'm not going to be using them on this one. Uh, so I'm going to be using these pegs for sure because they peg right into the knee. If I can do it with one hand. Let me see. There we go. See, so. And then I have to build something around the knee where 
that area gets covered up too uh, on the saga but other than that that's about my plans for the whole saga uh, not a whole lot more other than that I'm thinking about maybe doing the inside parts here like the silver chrome that I'm doing for my Astraea maybe at least these pieces right here are doing those pieces the light gray that stick out of uh, the front vent pieces kind of I'm gonna do the vents I think and the boosters in the back uh, s uh, silver instead of having the yellow just because I think silver will go better with a gray than the yellow will. Yellow will be too bright and I want it to be kind of a incognito uncolored kind of thing. Kind of like my O Gundam which I'm going to be repainting soon. So uh, tell me what you guys think about this. Um, I'm sure I can finish this guy out within a week or so. Uh, completely done with his weapons and everything. And I think I'm just going to be doing these videos or something instead of the pictures. I'll be posting pictures on Flickr still but uh, it's a pain in the butt to get them to embed on Gundam Eclipse for some reason. So, I'm just about out of time.